Let's now look at the list option, which lets you categorize all the emails that you have collected so far, either manually or through the subscription forms and use them in your mails that you would compose later and schedule later as well. So let's start by creating a new list. When I click here, I'll be able to give a name for my list. This is how I can manually add the list of emails. Here, I can also use the comma separated value format. I can import the emails if I already have them in a CSV file. So I can click on it and I can select my file in this file I already have some dummy emails that I would like to import and I'm going to click on submit and you can see here these are the emails which have been imported from the CSV and I have given the emails also some dummy names accordingly so these are the two ways that you can add emails to your list and the third option is by adding them automatically through the subscription forms which we will be seeing a bit later that's the basic feature of lists another option that you see here is the create sequence this can be used for sending automated emails to your list at specific times like when they are joining during the sign up process itself or after specific duration so let's see what are the options here here I can create a sequence and I can specify which is the email ID that I would use for my from details I can choose my SMTP from here as well I can select specific list from here right now I have just one the suggestions on how you can use certain variables which will be automatically replaced by the correct values when the person receives the email for example here I can just say hi name and that will be automatically replaced with the name of the person picked up from the SMTP and the Gmail servers and come the mail will be shown correctly for that particular user if you scroll down below you'll automatically see the unsubscription message over there and yeah this is where you can select during sign up or maybe after a specific duration of days when you you want to send the email as soon as you click on add to mail sequence list it will be listed and for the future under the mail sequence on the left hand side and you will be able to visit it edit it delete it in the future anytime depending upon your needs and requirements similarly here I am going to create another sequence which I would like to send after 30 days to maybe get feedback about my plugin so the top part and the options remain the same but here I have asked for the feedback and composed the mail accordingly this time I use this option to even insert a logo of my company over here here at the bottom using the add media option and I'm going to send it after 30 days I'll be able to find it in my mail sequence